Joy and Sadness made such a great team. But my favorite character was Riley's imaginary childhood friend, Microjig, maker of the Gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week's episode is also sponsored by Nature Box. And if you like this stand and would like to own it yourself, I'm auctioning it off to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'll have more information at the end of this video. A viewer to the show recently posted a picture of one of these on Facebook and asked if I could make one. It sticks into the ground and holds a bottle of wine and a glass on each side. The top is 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter. I'll edge joint these three boards on my table saw and glue them together. These two boards will create the leg. On one of these boards, I'm using a straight bit on my router to cut a groove from the bottom about two thirds of the way up. This will hold the steel rod that goes into the ground. I'll use a hacksaw to cut this steel rod down to size. And I can glue this into that slot with some epoxy. I'll glue the two boards together with wood glue. With that leg piece all dried up, I can use my plans to draw out the taper and other cuts. And I'll cut it out on my bandsaw. This hole is for the hinge. I need to round off this corner so the tabletop has room to swing. Over here at my router, I'll ease over the edges with a roundover bit. These two little blocks will hold the outside of the hinge. Cutting off this corner isn't really necessary. I just think it makes it look a little nicer. And just when everything was going along swimmingly, I realized I made this top piece too narrow. I should have added another board on it because I need it to be square. And unfortunately, that's all of the cherry wood I have left. So when life gives you lemons, you put in some filler strips. First, I'll slice up my hard work. Luckily, I have enough walnut left over that I can cut it into a couple of strips. Sure, gluing up panels is fun, but gluing up the same panel twice is twice as fun. Well, now I'm back on track with the right size board. And remember, what do you call this kind of recovery? It's gonna be easiest to make all of the cuts on this if I start out with a perfect square. This cutting template will make cutting all of these shapes really easy. I'll attach it with spray adhesive. I'll cut these all out on my drill press using a hole saw. I'll drill out the two sides of the handle using this smaller Forstner bit. You know, I think the fact that my stripes are off-centered really adds to the tension and drama of this piece. In fact, with that offset, I kind of think now this transcends extra fancy, becoming a bold, artistic statement. I'm running this dowel through these pieces so I can see exactly where I need to position these little blocks. 
this is the hole for the wine bottle and it drops into that little ledge. So these are gonna go like that. I removed the leg and I cut this dowel down a little shorter. I'm gonna keep it in there to help me keep these two blocks aligned while I glue it up. It'll be easier to finish these pieces with spray lacquer before I assemble them. Putting some tape on here so I can hopefully prevent scratching the finish with my saw. If you have a dowel that doesn't fit as tightly as this one, you can secure it by driving a screw through this piece, through the dowel, and into the top. So we decided to have a fake picnic. And yeah. since I don't drink wine and why- And I'm 18. We can show you though, it drops in just like that. So the wine glasses will just drop down in like that. That's a pretty good, good bouquet of water. And since we got the drinks, we really need some snacks to go with it. So let me talk to you about this month's delivery of Nature Box. If you'll remember, Nature Box is a subscription service that sends you out healthy, wholesome snacks every month. Cranberry medley. I picked that one up especially for why it oh man, the chipotle maple almonds. These are, this is my favorite so far. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavorers, no artificial sweeteners. You know what Nature Box also offers? Cashews. They do have cashews, but I was thinking about the company in general. They have a snackisfaction guarantee. You know, the, the Devo version of snackisfaction was way better Infinitely than this. Infinitely better. Way better than the Stones version. What do you think a snackisfaction guarantee means? Say you order a snack that you've never tried before. You're not sure if you're gonna like it, and then you get it and you find out it's really not for you. You know what you can do? Just order a new one. They'll just send you out a new one. No problems. The best part is that Nature Box is offering you a free trial box today. And how do they get the free trial box? By clicking the link in the description. Click on that there. special link. Check out all of the selection they have. There is so much. It's really fun to just browse through and try some new stuff. I want to thank Nature Box for supporting Woodworking for Mere Mortals again this month by sponsoring this video. And I'd like to thank you for watching this week's episode of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you'd like to build one of these yourself, check below for a free set of plans. And if you would like to own this cherry and walnut bold artistic statement, also check below for a link on how you can place a bid. And as always, remember 100% of your winning bid goes to support the Make-A-Wish Foundation. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals, where I post new woodworking videos every Friday. And don't forget to post pictures of projects you made over at 4 I'd love to see what you're making. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.